soon as I saw that little fin uh, and recognized who it was tucked in next to, uh, my heart just started racing. It's a moment she says she will never forget seeing the newest addition to the J-Pod. The southern resident orca just welcomed a new calf. Sarah is one of the first people to spot the whale off the coast of the San Juan Islands. She snapped these photos of that experience and alerted the Center for Whale Research who confirmed that sighting as well. Yeah, the birth means there are now 74 southern resident orcas. We spoke with the director of the Orca Behavior Institute who says there were a few other sightings of the calf. It was likely born in the last few days. The center says the news of its arrival is bittersweet. It is definitely a cause for celebration, but it does have to be taken in the context of the bigger picture. Uh, really what we need is we need for there to be more births than deaths in the population. So the population starts to grow and then we need these young whales to grow up and become successful reproductive whales themselves. This is the first newborn calf for the J-Pod in more than two years. Two other southern resident orcas were pregnant earlier this year but lost the calves. As we mentioned, these whales are endangered. They face at least three main threats to their survival. Underwater noise, pollutants and not enough Chinook salmon to eat.